So far in 2016, President Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign shows really no signs of abating. Uh, this year, the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, which is the primary state organ responsible for carrying out uh, the campaign, has announced more than 100 investigations, many of which have already been carried out. Now, in general, uh, in contrast with previous years, this year investigations are, are targeting individuals, whereas in previous years they had been focused primarily on uh, entire institutions. But it's notable that so far, uh, the officials that we've seen detained or under investigation this year uh, are very much tied to very important institutions that we know that Xi Jinping uh, has had in his crosshairs for some time to reorganize. Um, key among these would be, for instance, the military, from which we've seen a number of either current or former senior ranking officials uh, detained and under investigation, or more recently, the Communist Youth League, which is currently undergoing uh, a major reorganization. To understand the significance of the Communist Youth League reform, it's helpful to remember that uh, for the past 30 years, China has been collectively governed. And the idea behind this was put in place by uh, former Supreme Leader Deng Xiaoping with the intention of creating a system of internal checks and balances within the party. The idea being that you would have a number of competing interest groups or power bases, or sometimes they're called factions, uh, which would compete for influence and out of that process of competition would emerge, as Deng envisioned, uh, a better equilibrium, uh, stable, restrained decision making. And among these various groups, for much of the past 20 years, the Communist Youth League has been uh, one of the two or three most powerful. That influence is reflected in the Communist Youth League's uh, disproportionately high representation among key party and state organs. So when we think about uh, patronage networks or levers of influence within the party, for much of the past two decades, this has been a really key organ. So for Xi to be going after this organ to reorganize it, to uh, diminish its central capacity, its central influence, marks not only a significant development within the power consolidation efforts, but also really represents a change within the structure of Chinese elite politics. In many ways, it's still too early to tell. On the one hand, President Xi Jinping has been far more successful than his predecessors at consolidating his grip over key party and state organs and sidelining potential opposition. At the same time, we do see definite signs of opposition from various parts of the party. And it's important to keep in mind that Xi Jinping isn't simply consolidating his position within the party. In many ways, he's trying to remake the structure of Chinese politics, to undo the system that has existed for 30 years and to replace it with one in which he himself holds supreme power. 